It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the last week of August's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. If you've been watching, you know that in the first week we had the triple, which were easy, and then 91 for the second game, then it went downhill from there, a 79 in the third, and the last one was a 76. Will the trend continue, or will we start to do better? Let's find out. Frame one, ball one. It's been steadily declining. Ball two. Sound system is on again. It was on on ball two, but it was weak enough to not know what it was. Not bad, we start with a 10. And for those of you who like pin setters, here's the bowl more in action. And since pin cam is very hard to set up, the slight drift to the side is allowed to be as it is. Here comes a new set of pins, and there you go. Two, ball one. Not a bad start so far. Can we keep it going? Ball two. That was a terrible ball. Fortunately, the pin action took six of them out. Ball three, even I'll admit that other ball was pretty good. The obvious pin to go for is the six pin, having a plank making it a wider target. Swing and a miss for an eight. So far, it's not really all that bad. We got a ten and one and an eight and two. So far, it's a fairly strong 18. Looks like things are getting better. Frame three, ball one. As we all know, a mark would definitely help improve things, but so far, so good. Ball two. Looks like we got a washout, leaving the 10 pin and the four horsemen left. Get the hard pin out of the way. Now all that's left is the four horsemen on the left. Ball three. The one, two, four, and seven. How many of those can we knock down? The answer is none. They remain for a six. Frame four, ball one. That six was a letdown, but surrounded by strong numbers, we could afford that. What a terrible leave. The wood might not be much help either. That actually almost worked. Ball three tried to be fancy and unfortunately the ball actually did go exactly where I did. I just kind of failed. Here's the real trick, getting those two pins with that very unfavorable piece of wood. And a nine. Well, that one turned out all right. I mean, we had a weak six and three, but then a nice nine and four, and that six surrounded by an eight and a 10 as well. We're at 33, we're doing all right. Frame five, ball one. Ball 
ball two. Emily. Miss everything ball one. Get everything ball two. Emily style spare achieved. Maybe not. Ball three. Stink crane time? The six we had we could afford, but a four box, that will make things difficult. Nine is no stink frame. The kingpin remains. Frame six ball one. Good as possible. Possible. The way things have been going, possible is probably all it'll be. Ball two. The leave is ugly, but the good thing is there's plenty of real estate the ball could do something. Ball three. What the bowling ball is. The most difficult pin is now standing, all alone. And the bowling god's middle finger stays for nine. Definitely could use some marks, but five and six didn't go all too badly otherwise. Got a pair of nines. We are at 51. Still looking like a good game. Frame seven, ball one. Could really use some marks to not make it a good game, but possibly a great game. Not bad. We are left with a new palace left. Ball two. New palace left with no wood to help. That's the only bad thing about it. The seven pin all by itself. No wood. Ball three. Realize pin is crooked, but yeah, what can I do? The angle has been off for a few games, and at this point I finally noticed it. Close, but still a nine. Free maple one. Twenty from good. Looks like it's a... Uh, Ball three. Seven. Not looking too bad still. We got a nine and seven and an okay seven and eight. We're at 67. Still looking good. Marks could make it even better. Frame nine, ball one. 13 away from good. It sounds like I can have the audio playing for the last two frames of everything. Ball three. Could this be a stink? It's another seven. Last frame, last game, ball one. Six for good, but you know how things go. Ball two. I guess they're sending out the leaves on the other side, so I should be busy, but wish it happened a while ago. Ball three. Hey, we made good territory.
and we end it with a 10. Well, we've been hitting the downward spiral in the very last game of the last week of August. We have moved up a bit, and that will be an 84. Yeah, this has not been the greatest of runs, but 74 being my worst, that's not really bad for me, to be honest with you. No 99s this time. Anyway, before we wrap things up, they shut off the music because on the other side there's a cave. They're starting up the lift day. Let me grab the camera and raise it up a little bit. There you go, you can see the new play started. That's what's called the non-TV side. It's supposed to be the harder of the two sides. We are on the TV side where Candlepin Stars and Strikes used to be shot on lanes 33 and 34. In fact, you can still see the lights on the ceiling that they used to light up the lanes and the players. So that'll be it for August. Watch me suck at bowling. Wasn't really that great this time from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Proving that I have So I'll get lucky. That'll be it. Georgia 551 say hope you enjoy. Here we go.